Hey guys, so if you're using Generate Press Theme and wondering how you can update the topography and font choices on your site uh, site-wide, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it. All right, so I'm going to show you um, two quick scenarios on what it looks like when you're first installing Generate Press without setting up any topography whatsoever, um, and then what it might look like if you've already set up some of those choices and just want to make some changes. So. Um, first, we'll look at a demo site I have set up that has everything default in it, basically. Um, I've got no topography set up. So we're going to jump into the customizer and go to topography. And here is the Generate Press um, font manager and topography manager. So this is where you'll be able to really control site-wide um, and on different elements uh, what fonts you want to use. Um, font sizes, font weights, and so on and so forth. So what you're first going to do is say add font. <clears throat> and when you add a font, it's basically saying you want this font to be loaded onto your website. And so we're going to go through and we'll choose, um, let's say, Alerta. And we're going to say we want to use Google Font API. Um, sans serif and variants of only this one only has one variant. So maybe let's just choose um, something like Helvetica. Or again, bad choice. <laughs> let's choose um, Red Hat Display. So this one I know has several variants. Um, it's a Google font. And so what you see here is all the different fonts and variants um, that Red Hat Display comes with. Now in here, you can eliminate which ones you think you will not use, and that'll actually save some loading time on your website. Um, so we can remove 300, because that's too light. Um, we can remove um, 800 forward. So we're just gonna use like 500, 600, 700 in regular. All right, so we'll say close, and that's going to be our headline font, and then we're gonna go ahead and choose a separate one. We'll say, um, Roboto, and this is what we're going to use for our body font. Now, since our body font, we're not going to choose anything too light, and we're actually not even going to choose anything beyond regular. So we're going to delete all the other variants there and just keep regular and italic. Google Font Display. So because we are utilizing Google Fonts, uh, it's always recommended to use Swap um, just to help, again, with performance and loading times on your website. So uh, what you're going to do next is jump into the Topography Manager. So again, because this is our demo we're utilizing um, Generate Press kind of fresh out of the box, um, we want to, we have to set this up uh, from scratch. So um, first is you're going to say Add Topography. And what you're first going to do is open this up and choose what you're wanting to set up, right? So first we'll say we want to edit the H1s and we want the font family to be Red Hat Display and font weight we're going to say 600. We'll say font style, um, default, decoration, and then of course you can come in here and kind of tweak um, all of your settings. So I'll jump in here. We can see this is an H1 on a blog post. Um, so maybe 50 words too large. So we can go to 48. Um, line height, we could do 1.2 is fine. Um, and bottom margin. So again, we'll just kind of run through this really quickly. Um, next, we can add then um, our body font. And we'll say font family. We want to be Roboto. And we want font weight to be normal. And let's say 16 point font uh, for the font size, line height, um, 1.5 seems all right. Okay, so you can of course continue to carry this on, um, adding as many different types of stylings you might want. Um, again, you could follow in, you could do your H2s, Red Hat display, say 40 pixels, um, and so on and so forth. And then what you'll do is click publish. So now on your website, um, everywhere you go, it's going to reflect those changes that you've made because this is your global topography settings. So um, 
you can see here the H2 is now Red Hat Display and the body font is Roboto. Um, our primary navigation is now Roboto. So all these fonts are updating site-wide. So what we can do then is jump into my second demo here, which already has some fonts set up, and we say we want to change those fonts. Um, so we'll jump into the customizer again, go to the topography panel, and of course I've got Red Hat Display, and we have Open Sans. So Red Hat Display is set up as our H1, and Open Sans as the body font. Um, so what I want to do is I'd like to get rid of Red Hat Display and change that to, um, let's say, Enter. And already you can see my H1 on the page here um, automatically updated to Enter. So we can come down here and we'll say Font Family Enter and we'll say Font Weight um, 800, so nice thick sans serif <clears throat> and then once again maybe we want to change the body font so we'll open this back up search for a font again we can choose um, something like um, times new roman maybe we want to go with a <laughs> serif font so we'll select that and in the body oops, excuse me we'll choose times new roman and bump that one up a bit um, and there we go so we can publish exit on out and now we'll see uh, we've got Times New Roman as our body fonts um, and then we got our H1 as uh, the enter font that we updated it all right so that was really just a quick crash course there on how to add your topography and also adjust it if you've already got some preset fonts selected um, Generate Press really makes it pretty easy. So uh, once you get the hang of it, it's really a, a streamlined process to be able to swap out fonts um, globally and make sure that your site has the same font site-wide. Thanks again for watching. Uh, please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy watching my content. Appreciate it.